Hi everybody, I know it's taken me ages to get to this point but I've finally got round to recording how I'm beginning to put together the Knit 48 blanket that you've all been working on. I hope you've enjoyed the process of trying out a new stitch every week. Um, I really enjoyed creating it for you. So this video is just going to show you how, because some of them are different sizes, how I've sort of sorted them out and put them together. Don't worry that they're different sizes, you can sort of stretch them a little bit but in the end overall we'll I'll show you how how it can all come together. So we're going to use mattress stitch to put them together and, and an over stitch to put the, some of the rows together and then I'll just show you how the blanket's beginning to take shape. To secure the blanket together or sew the blanket together we're going to use something called a mattress stitch. So I'm using the tail end of one of the sample pieces and I just over stitch a couple of stitches just to secure the pieces together at the bottom. Laying them nice and flat side by side you insert the needle under the second row from the edge um, and go under the two bars that are between the stitches as you can see I'm doing here. So you go underneath the two bars on one side and then cross over and go underneath two bars and they're quite easy to see when you're looking at them so if you watch here I go under two bars pull the needle through don't worry about pulling it too tight to start with we'll do that a little later it's sort of like a little magical bit um, so yes just push the needle in and go up and then when you come across try and go in where you came up on the previous needle uh, to the previous stitch so in and up and literally creating a sort of ladder between the two pieces from side to side going up and just work your way right up the two pieces trying to keep them nice and aligned together um, and this this will help keep create a really sort of smooth finish so if you lay them out and look and just gently pull you'll see that they come together. Just check that it's looking okay and then just continue on until you get up to the top. You can do the same stitch from coming from the top so I just wanted to quickly show you how you would do that. So I've secured it. Sometimes it's just because the threads at the top um, that I want to use to actually join the, join the two pieces together no other reason other than that but as you can see exactly the same go between the two stitches and then pull it uh, gently to bring them together so in and out so going in where I last came out from side to side creating this sort of ladder effect stitch coming down and then pulling it together and then you finish off the final bit and once again once you get to the bottom you would look to secure the bottom with two over stitches so I'm joining two pieces side by side and then I'm going to be looking to join those two pieces to the next two pieces up on the blanket and I've done mine in sections of six um, so sections of six across the blanket and at the bottom three sets of four. So you'll see later how I organise this. So lay them, line them up. Now obviously they're not going to line up completely perfectly. They are going to, um, because all of the swatches were slightly different sizes, mine were the same, I know some of yours were, um, you need to just try and when you're organising them try and make sure that uh, you've got them fairly evenly spread, but occasionally there will be a little step um, between them. So this this way I'm going to show you how to overcome that. So to join them across, so that now they're not side by side, I'm just using an over stitch or a whip stitch as it's called to join the two pieces together. And it's a nice even whip stitch right across again using spare thread. If I run out of the spare thread, then I'll just use it, just cut off another bit of thread. Um, and use and then just secure it 
at the end. Now look, if I open it out, it's not quite level. So what I'm going to do is bring it from the other side and again, secure those end stitches so that it's nice and secure. And then over stitch all the way back to the center, trying to keep it nice and even. Don't worry that this thread looks contrasting once you've once you've got it sort of laid out flat. It won't uh, it you won't notice it on the back. Um, and of course, it's it sort of matches the cream that I'm sewing together with this gray stitch, a uh, gray panel here. Um, and then once I've finished, I sew in all the ends just so that each time I've finished a batch of six, I know that those are completely ready for me to sew together into the final blanket and I don't get masses of ends to sew in right at the end, which I know most of us don't really enjoy. Now I'm just gonna make sure that um, the rest of the blanket is sewn up and make sure that little step is neatly sewn together just so that the, all the squares fit nicely together. Just finishing off this one and then I'll show you what the blanket sort of is starting to take shape. So lay it flat. Later on, we'll make sure that it sort of looks all neat. So hopefully that's helped you think about how you're going to put your squares together and um, given you some ideas about how you sort of arrange the blanket. I wasn't really looking forward to, to sort of sewing it together. It felt like it was going to be a bit of a chore, but I have to say now I've sat down and started to do some, I've really enjoyed it. I found it really therapeutic. Hope you enjoy it too. And um, the next video is going to just show you how I'm going to finish it off, which will come in a couple of weeks time. And um, yeah, I look forward to, to catching up with you soon.